this is Jennifer Sabrin, uh, Director of Student Conduct and Title IX Resource Person at Penn State Altoona. And I am going to make a smoothie this morning, a fruit smoothie. Uh, the, it's easy to grab um, if I'm heading out to the office. Or since we're at home with the office, I uh, just have something at my desk that I could have for breakfast. Um, I usually start off with slicing up a banana. Um, I have some bananas that are um, on the verge of being done um, as far as ripe, ripeness. Um, and so I thought it'd be a good idea to make a uh, smoothie this morning. So I do banana. I also do uh, spinach. Um, so if you've got some greens that you like, maybe it's kale. Um, that's always a good option. Uh, so I shove it down in to my uh, cup. So with that, then I also will add, uh, I do a berry blend. Um, it's a frozen berry mix. That way I don't have to put in ice. Um, so that's one that uh, saves me the uh, mixture of ice and then having fresh fruit on hand. Um, I also put down that, I do put, oh, about a third or so um, of my mix. I like peanut butter uh, powder. Um, it gives that protein piece that I like. Um, so you can spoon it in. I usually do a teaspoon. Um, I think I've lost my spoon, so I'm just going to tap a little bit in there. And then depending on what you're working towards, uh, I do a whey protein uh, chocolate size. I do a chocolate kind. You can do two scoops. Um, just so it's not like thick and heavy, I'll do just one. Um, and so then after I have most of that, I would probably usually, now that I'm looking at this, put my milk in. Um, you can use, obviously, regular milk. Uh, you can also use almond milk. Um, I often will use an almond milk uh, with unsweetened vanilla. Uh, but today I'm going to try to use my milk up too, because um, the almond milk does last a little longer. There is a mark, at least on my... Uh, uh, cup here that does say you know max liquid um, because by the time I screw on the blender piece as far as with the blades uh, it'll overflow and so you want to just make sure um, I used to use a, uh, a regular mix a uh, blender um, as I started putting in some of the heavy frozen fruit um, it would struggle to blend it all so if you happen to have a either like a bullet or a ninja, um, something along those lines, it, it would be helpful. But at the same time, a regular blender will work. Um, and so I have a mixture, a combo. I have a banana, bananas, my spinach, my mixed fruit, my powdered protein of peanut butter, and then also my whey protein um, that is chocolate flavored. So it's gonna come out. Um, so I use a ninja, like I said, it just flips right over, spins right in. And then the slick and easy piece is I can push a button and walk away. Um, I'm not trying to sell, obviously, a blender. Um, but with the regular blender, you do have to stay with it and pulse it for a little while. Um, this will pulse real quickly for three. It's just as the instructions are to kind of get it mixed up. And then I push a button and let it roll. So then I can go and, and you know, finish getting dressed, put my shoes on, whatever it might be. So my shake is done, uh, my smoothie. Um, it takes about two minutes to blend. Um, so you want to make sure you get it nice and smooth. You don't want chunks of spinach in your teeth the rest of the day. Um, and so with this one, it just unscrews from the lid where the blades are. And then I'll put that in the sink, put my cap on uh, to take off for the rest of the day. Um, with the regular blender, I poured it into just a travel mug. Um, and then made sure I rinsed it out, obviously, if I was in the office. Um, rinsed it out so I could take it home and wash it the rest of the way. I washed it at the office. And so if you're in a location, you just want to make sure that, um, you know, so that doesn't dry up or anything. But anyway, it uh, doesn't look the most appealing. It's got a little purple tint from the berries. Um, sometimes it'll lean on the side of uh, the spinach side. Um, but I enjoy it. And you can make any combo. I also have peaches. Um, and a citrus based one that I could also use. Um, but uh, this one is usually my go-to uh, in the mornings. I'm a berry kind of person. So anyway, hope you enjoy your day. Hope you started off right and uh, have a great day. Thanks.